everyone welcome back to my channel so today we have three groups we're going to be doing a pick a card all about what does your higher self want you to know so we're going to do some really lovely guided messages today so we have three groups here we have group number one with the green stone group two with the pink stone and group number three with the blue stone so please choose your group now and let's get started and yes i know i haven't got my nails on today i wanted to keep this video very relaxed very chill and just kind of like you're talking to a friend essentially i want it to be like lots of lovely soft advice and yeah just some advice that you need to know right now so let's get started let's start with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading so today you guys chose the heart chakra so this is the green stone that you guys chose this beautiful green i've got a feeling this is peace jade as well it's got quite a, a weight to it as well so this is the heart chakra. So let's get started with your reading. It's so weird not wearing nails, but I just wanted to have like such a gentle look to this reading today. So I hope that's right for you guys. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Let's see what's going on with your higher self. We're gonna have a look at some tarot and then we're gonna pull some more oracle cards. Okay, so first of all, you guys have protection. Which way, which way? Ooh, okay, this feels deep. This feels so, so, so deep. Ooh, okay, they're asking me to pull an animal card as well. So let's do that. Let's get you an animal card here. Let's see where you're at. <laughs> okay, yes, that makes a lot of sense. And then we'll do your future self while we're at it. Yep, gorgeous, right. A lot of you guys, that makes so much sense. Thank you, universe, for that confirmation. And especially because we have the card of the universe. That just makes so much sense. Okay, first of all, you guys definitely protect yourself. Um, you struggle with vulnerability. And a lot of it is also to do with spiritual protection. Um, it's really, really good to spiritually protect yourself. That will definitely help you on your journey to becoming much more comfortable with being yourself. So we have the hermit in the universe. So these two are very much strong omens for you. The fact that you have two very strong major arcana cards. I mean, the universe for me, it can, I feel like significant the world, but with the universe here, I feel like it's signifying that you guys are coming into a much more comfortable place with, you, with your connection with the universe. The vulture and the crow, can you see how they're like looking opposite each other? They're trying to avoid each other. So you're going through a massive transformation right now. And I know most of the time, yes, you can feel like you're going through a transformation like pretty much all the time. But what it's basically showing me is it's okay to go through this. It's okay to feel like you don't know where you're going, which way's up, which way's down. It's okay to feel like that. And for you guys, the fact that you have the heart chakra, you're really being cracked open. Like your heart chakra is being fully cracked open. And the fact that you have eucalyptus, I mean, eucalyptus to me is such, I think it's a scent as well, but I think people use it as a scent. Um, and I think, I'm pretty sure it smells really, really, really nice. Um, so even though it looks quite sharp and spiky, it has this gorgeous kind of need for, you know, either we're using it as a scent or putting in some tea or something. I'm not sure what exactly you use eucalyptus for, but I know it's very, very, very useful. And a lot of the time, especially with like weeds and things like that, we call them weeds because we're so, you know, disconnected from nature because of the society we're in. But a lot of the time is those weeds are so, so helpful. So it's kind of like the things we try to get rid of are the actual things that we need to use, you know, to move forward. So what I'm seeing for you guys is right now you are in hermit mode. Right now you are in a place where everything just feels really difficult. It just feels really super, super uncomfortable. And you're really struggling to get a grip on what you're feeling. And this is very normal, especially because at the time of filming this, we are going through the eclipse season. And that's okay, you know. I mean, the fact that I'm wearing my full snail, not wearing my full snail, is quite a big deal for me as well. I never used to wear my full snails when I first started doing readings. And I feel like this is very similar to this group. It's kind of like letting down those layers and protection of, of protection as well. And especially because we're in Taurus season when I'm filming this as well. So it's really important to just be natural with your process, not to judge it. I genuinely feel like you guys are coming into a really, 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 really powerful spiritual path. And what this is showing me is that you're gonna be using this for your career or in your future endeavors. It's kind of like you're cracking your spiritual side open and getting it to 
yeah, basically just crack open, getting it to express itself. And with the crow, the crow is like you're sitting on a landmine. You're sitting on a, I'm hearing like a landmine, but also a land mine. Is it a landmine? Basically, I feel like you're sitting on gold, um, not a, like explosion, like a gold. It could be, it could be feeling like you're sitting on like a land, a landmine, where basically, you know, you have those, I think they did this in the war, um, like in like the 1940s or something. And they had these like, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like explosives and they put them into the earth. When someone steps on them, it's like, Phew. you kind of feel like that. You kind of feel like something is going to pop, but what it is is a pressure building up within you. And what's actually happening is you're actually sitting on gold. It, rather than something that's bad, it actually is something good. So the crow is all about unleashing um, the deep, intense energy. I just got like a message. Um, I saw an image of, uh, it's like a scene from Night at the Museum 2. And there's this, it's one of my favorite films. I absolutely love it, it's so fun. And the film is like, has all, obviously has all these different characters from all these different times of the and history. And there's a character that is the, oh, the emperor, I'm pretty sure. And he goes, unleash. And it's like, I don't know, it's just, you can't take him seriously. He's really funny. I love evil people that aren't evil. <laughs> So it's like they're trying to be, but they're not. So that's kind of what I'm feeling. There's definitely this contrast between what's right, what's wrong, what's not, you know, things like that. So definitely stop judging yourself on where you are right now. And protection is what I'm feeling for you is very, very, very important. It's like, yes, you can have this open-hearted energy, but at the end of the day, if you have been struggling to open your heart, you will want to protect it and that's all right. You know, don't be afraid to let yourself protect it right now. The Hermit is all about being going inward. It, I feel like this is really a six month process for a lot of you guys. So obviously timing goes up and down, but I do feel like six months is kind of like the time when uh, you will be, you know, you will be releasing this and letting it go. The Vulture, a lot of people don't even like vultures either. You know, it's energy around this reading is kind of like, well, not a lot of people like me. I've got to be, do this to be liked or, you know, things like that. What the vulture is saying to me is you don't really have to do anything. You just have to look after yourself. And that can actually be quite a big deal, especially if you're not used to looking after yourself. The vulture is about picking the things out that most people don't want to do. The vulture is the one that cleans up dead bodies, but they are so fucking needed and they're very scorpionic. You know, a lot of people are put off by Scorpios, you know, and I'm a Scorpio myself. I have had this, I've witnessed this firsthand that we can see things that a lot of people don't, don't want to see or ignore, you know? And if that's uncomfortable for a lot of people, then they are, those people aren't the right people to be around. You know, it's kind of like if you're worrying whether somebody likes you or doesn't like you or is interested in you, girl, if they liked you, they, they would show it, you know? So what I'm seeing is get really, really comfortable with sitting in this uncomfortable, but this a cracking open. So you're gonna get a lot of fucking downloads, like really, really deep. You're gonna see a lot about your family patterns. Yes, I know it's not comfortable, but it's really, really, really needed. And what happens is when you do this, you're gonna allow more space to come in and things like EFT, counseling, writing it down, you know, creatively getting it out with like, you know, whatever your hobby is. And for mine, it'd be photography, like getting it out just through creativity, or it can literally be sitting on your bed crying. You know, it's literally can be anything, but the crow is so, so, so amazing. And they're telling me to read from uh, the book. So let me just grab the book here. And we're going to read these couple of animals because I feel like there's a message in here that's so needed. A lot of you guys have put a lot of pressure on yourself to be this perfect person or hide yourself. And what that does is you make yourself miserable, you know, and the vulture is such a misunderstood creature. It really is. And I'm pretty sure it says that in this book. I love this deck. It's so amazing. It's called the Animal Spirit deck. It's just so fucking amazing. She's also bringing out another deck, which I'm very excited about. Um, obviously, this reading is timeless. So just come back to this reading whenever you need to, if you need to come back for another message. Um, where is the vulture? Oh, it's a different, oh dear, okay, I wasn't looking at the right um, element. So this is air, I was looking at fire. Okay, so let me see. So a lot of you guys wanna get away from the fire. I'm hearing throwing, uh, throwing yourself onto the fire, um, from the frying pan into the fire. That's what I heard as well. So a lot of you guys are just like really under a lot of pressure. Most of you wanna get out of a job you're in as well that you're really uncomfortable in. I'm just hearing, take it slowly and you'll be ready to leave when it's the right time, okay? There's no pressure. Okay, Vulture, this is where you are right now. This is where you in the future. And the fact that we have the universe is amazing because what it's showing to me, oh my God, I literally just realized like these two are very kind of deep, dark, um, obviously in a good way, 
um because like inward we have purple and black and we have purple and black and then here we have this ball and we have a ball here like you're literally taking ownership of your spiritual side that is fucking beautiful sexy amazing i love it <laughs> okay so we have the vulture guardian and purifier essential for rebalance and i'm pretty sure you can get eucalyptus essential oils i'm not entirely sure but i've got a, i've got this like strong sense for this group it's like a lot of senses in this group like smell taste touch there's a lot of need to like go inward and really feel into it okay the vulture is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of all. Yes, I'm pretty sure it said that. This intriguing bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. It does the dirty work that no one else wants to do and cleans up our messes. The vulture appears when there's a situation that needs to be purified or brought back into balance. Remember, the vulture is greatly undervalued. What you thought was a mistake or tragedy is a blessing in disguise. When in balance, it clarifies and reveals wisdom, which is exactly what you're leaning into. When out of balance, dramatic and aggressive. To bring into balance, clean your space and sage. Yes, 1 million percent. I can 100% agree with that. And I love the fact that we have two air signs because what it's doing is it's like, girl, yes, you are changing, but you are not coming, becoming this person you're not meant to be. Like, this is so needed right now. And the universe has your back. You know, whoever you believe in, whether it be God, universe maybe even buddha i don't know like whoever you believe in or you know look up to here the universe is fully supporting you like this is your soul's journey this is absolutely gorgeous and what it's going to do is it's going to bring people in who fucking respect you like when you're in this position there's a lot of shame around expressing your spiritual and sexual side um because spiritual and sexual side can be very similar as well and it's just about expression it's about being naturally intuitive and letting that shine and the fact we had the crow is just so amazing i just love it it's just like sitting on a fucking mountain of gold it kind of reminds me of the hobbit as well with that um oh my god smaug that dragon i don't really, really like the hobbit but i watched all three films <laughs> and it's kind of remind me of that it's like the dragon was so miserable and angry and you know but he had all this gold and he wouldn't share it and it feels like you guys have all this gold and you can easily share it. And it's not to say that you're giving it away. It's actually showing people your powers and how amazing you are. It can be as simple as your hobbies. It can be as simple as the type of clothing you really want to wear. Or it can be as simple as, you know, maybe even starting a counseling session, which can be super, super, you know, you know, intense and uncomfortable at first. But oh my God, it's so fucking worth it. Like there's just these little things allowing you to open up slowly just take your time everything's fine and also i heard another one. Oh my god guys i'm sorry i'm getting so many different messages from different places i'm also getting one from one of the barbie films i love barbie the barbie films are fucking amazing i used to love them when i was younger and they're just so happy and fun the stories also are really good so if you have never seen barbie films and you're interested just go watch them because the stories are actually so amazing um so there's a character that has a laugh and I'm pretty sure she's the same actress as the one from Friends that has a really intense laugh. Oh, what is her name? She has dark black hair, long black hair. And she has this laugh in Swan Lake, the Swan Lake Barbie film. And I'm not going to do an impression because it's really awful, but I'm getting this laughter and it's kind of like you're trying to avoid the intense darker parts of you and it's not even that dark what it is it's like the parts you've hidden for so long and they're actually fucking amazing parts of you okay so the crow spiritually strong creative watchful the crow has long been a symbol of magic a crow personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen knowing the unknown it is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye the three realities past present and future crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear those with crow tendencies must balance their lives with a healthy diet, joyful friends and regular self-study. When in balance, psychic, strong, clear. When out of balance, ungrounded and hypersensitive. To bring into balance a daily meditation practice. Yeah, that is so fucking important for you guys. I'm hearing astronomically important. So you know when I'm bringing out the big words, <laughs> the universe is trying to say something, you know what I'm saying? Okay, these are your oracle cards. Let's have a look and see. Okay, so first ones, trust, basil, productivity, and we have a transition. Yep, you guys are growing. You are literally, from a little seedling, growing into this gigantic plant. And I'm also hearing once the plant grows, it shows. My guys like to rhyme. So when the plant grows, it starts to show. So obviously when you're growing, you start to allow yourself to show more, like you are being seen more because your spiritual side is like girl we got to evolve you know so what i'm seeing is it's like it's scary when you start to be seen it's scary but what it is it's actually amazing you know it's just oh it's so powerful okay so the other cards we have are 
attraction, awareness, and expression, you actually have uh, the number 11 twice, which is so amazing. I love that. Um, this kind of reminds me of, um, what's it, Moss Agate? Is it Moss Agate? The one that like really changes people's lives. Pretty, pretty sure that's Moss Agate. Okay, so the fact we have attraction, awareness, expression, this is basically about you expressing your natural feminine side. Uh, obviously, it doesn't matter on the gender, everyone has masculine and feminine energy. But what this is showing me is it's like getting yourself comfortable with expressing yourself, getting yourself comfortable with realizing how attractive you are and being seen. We have this awareness. Your awareness is very much like rising really, really strongly. And you're going to become much more of a magnet. You're going to become much more attractive. And it doesn't mean that you're attractive as in like physically, of course, that's true. But attractive as in people are things and people and, and things like things, people and opportunities are attracting to you like a magnet. So the more you're expressing yourself, and I do feel like this is to do with to family, to friends, maybe online, there's a sense of like needing to be more vulnerable and you're slowly leaning into that. And it's because your awareness is changing as well. And expression is so amazing. And I really feel like it's to do with communication, like how you're communicating to people and how it's coming out. Okay, so we have trust, productivity, and transition. We also have the crystal grid, focus, create with intent. We have golden Libyan tectite expansion, galactivations. Oh, galactivations. I've never heard that one before. Um, galactivations, initiation, and ancient Egypt. So obviously a lot of you guys could be star seeds because this is always like my star seedy energy here. Um, oops, but also for you guys, this is about you focusing on one thing at a time, keeping things extremely fucking simple and trusting that everything's going to be okay. There's obviously, of course, you're going through a transition and expansion, but what it's doing is it's actually bringing in more physical things. It's bringing in more physical abundance for you, which is really, really nice. So I feel like a lot of you guys are wanting to have a job that pays more or, you know, you earn more from it. And what it's showing to me is it's like your, your needs are getting larger. You know, you've always had needs, but you've never felt like they are fully you know, there to express. So I feel like for you guys, you're, you're coming closer to your need, which is really, really, really nice. And you're able to actually express what it is that you need. Okay, so let's get you a advice card here. Let's see, do you want to pull some tarot? I feel like I want to pull some more tarot. Hmm, I think I might do that. I think we're actually done with these cards. Okay, so that was obviously a very quick one there. Okay, so what do you want to do? Let's pull a couple of, yeah, let's pull a couple of tarot cards. So obviously, obviously you guys chose the uh, heart chakra. So these are about the heart chakra also. It's just getting vulnerable. I'm hearing it's just getting vulnerable. Your life is going to look a lot different in about six months, to, even to six years as well. It's going to look a lot different. Like it's wow, insane. So we have these seven of wands in the reverse. You're struggling to kind of find your tribe as well. And I know it's hard because a lot of the time is, you know, we are kind of stuck in our own little bubbles at the moment, but you will find your tribe. Everything will get a lot easier, trust me. Okay, let's get you an advice card. Let's see what's going on here. The Mystic Rose, compassion, devotion, humility, humanity, and grace. Love it, okay. So a lot of you guys, yes, you're asking for more, you're getting more. I feel like there's a massive transition. I'm hearing you just got to do it. You just got to go for it. Um, a lot of you guys think that you deserve less than what you actually do deserve. You deserve more. You deserve so much more. They're telling me to get an astrology card. So I'm going to do that as well. I wasn't exactly sure what cards I needed for this reading. So I'm just whipping out the cards now. Lovely. Massive, massive changes in your spiritual awareness. You're wanting more. You're getting more. It is, it is on its way. We have Eris and then we also have Leo. This is literally about being seen. A lot of your life you struggled to show up for yourself and be seen and things like that. But honestly, guys, you are doing such a good job. And this is really about higher awareness. You're going to get massive transformations on new moons and massive like revelations. I mean, transformations, revelations. And the fact we have the Ten of Swords is just showing me like you've had a lot of experiences where people have kind of, you know, stabbed you in the back. But it's not all bad because at the end of the day, you've learned from your experiences and there's massive, massive changes coming through. We also have shadow works. This is obviously showing me there is some deep, uh, intense stuff going on within you. But there is also a sense of receiving, well, 
my throat just went weird. A lot of you guys is about receiving, like how you receive, um, what you expect from people and what you what you actually feel like you're deserving of receiving. And I do definitely feel like you are a light for a lot of people. You're somebody who really, uh, the more you show up for yourself, the more other people show up for themselves. And you are definitely needing to give yourself a lot of compassion. Like literally this card just says it all, compassion and devotion. Like the more you devote yourself to you and your path, and your reactions and how things make you feel things will feel a lot easier because you'll start to recognize hmm, i actually don't really like being in this situation or i don't like kind of that your reaction and then you're choosing to like you know make the decision to move away from it you know so okay do you want to pull anything else let's get you some dice what dice do we want okay i'm gonna do the self-care dice for you guys let's see all right, so we have be kind, that makes so much sense. We have tidy up for 10 minutes and we have dance to music. Those are some really good advice actually. If you guys need to physically move your space around 100%, drinking more, maybe making a smoothie, maybe be drinking something different that you don't normally drink, turning off the phone, getting out of your room. I would also just say to take it away from your head in, in the nighttime, just because it's, you know, electromagnetic waves are really uncomfortable. Um, things like, you know, Shungite, Hematite and Black Tourmaline are really good for shielding you from that. And we have a look at the stars. I feel like a lot of you guys are very, feeling very disconnected from your spirituality and that's all right. It goes up and down in waves. It's kind of like my intuition. It goes up and down in waves. So that's why sometimes it is harder to channel or, you know, it, it does feel a bit different. It's because it's a natural thing and it's, it's getting, it's exercising that muscle as well. You know, especially for those of you who do want to do tarot or do tarot, you know what I'm talking about. You know, like it, you can feel exhausted after you've done like one reading. So it's all about re like when you try new things, try it with an open mind and not worry about the end result because that's when things start to become more fun, you know, and not taking things so seriously. So have a great day. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you would like to get a private reading for myself, that is all down below. Please message me or email me before getting a reading. And if you would like to check out my crystal shop, please feel free to do so and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the root chakra. So this is a really nice one for you guys if you are feeling a little bit stuck. Uh, this is all about money. This is about getting you grounded. This is about you being in your, uh, yeah, just being rooted, being grounded. And with the root chakra, it also represents your coccyx and your lower back, your feet, hips, nails, teeth, rectum, spine. It's also to do with physical stability, security, self-sufficiency and responsibility for yourself. I love that. So they're telling me to just pull a chakra card right now. So we're going to do that. I just kind of do what, she, what they say, you know, just to get you guys the messages. So I didn't pull one for grit and move one. So this is just for you guys. Lovely. So to get grounded is really about your throat chakra and your sacral. So getting into your root chakra is actually about expressing who you are through your throat chakra and your sacral, which is about creativity, asking for what you need. So basically what I'm saying is when you ask for what you want, there can be a reaction that comes back to you. So for you guys, you're learning to express your emotions openly and you're learning to recognize that other people's opinions of you is nothing to do with you. It's basically to do with how you feel about yourself. All right, so let's have a look and see what's going on here. Okay, sorry guys, I feel like I'm moving everything around. All right, so root chakra, let's see. The main card we have magnificent oh yes i love that and then we have the knight of swords and justice this is absolutely beautiful so for you guys this is basically about you recognizing how fucking amazing you are it's that simple and that's probably really finding you might find that really really difficult but it literally is about you finding your magnificence so let's get you a card about where you are right now lovely Kundalini energy, girl. Kundalini energy, that's sexual power. Lovely. Okay, so this kind of feels very similar to group number one, but it feels more intense. It feels more like actual physical manifestations because group number one was very spiritual based. This feels like obviously root chakra based. Very, very grounded. This is actually about physical manifestations. So the fact we have the moth is showing me that you guys are needing to come out of a situation to manifest something physical. It can be as simple as going through a massive spiritual awakening Open up your root chakra by doing some root chakra work, maybe doing some dancing. It's something physical with your body, like physically moving your body, and that opens you up to feeling more comfortable with who you are. 
I feel like a lot of you guys I'm hearing have daggers coming at you. Like you have a lot of people around you who really don't appreciate you. And it's really messing with your confidence and you're having to really put armor on when you're around these people. And it kind of, it shows how many people are reacting around you because you are literally showing up as this beautiful light and a lot of people are kind of freaked out by it. But what it's doing is it's kind of balancing things out. So as you start to speak up for your truth, you start to speak up for who you really are, you start to get comfortable with basically being misunderstood by people. That's what you're kind of aiming for. And then you'll start to attract people who are really meant to be in your life, basically. So we have the Knight of Swords. I also pulled just another tarot card here and we have the Queen of Cups. What this is showing me is this is you kind of at your core. You are an emotional person, very spiritual, but also really awake. And a lot of people are fucking scared of it because they're not on that wavelength, you know, or they have that ability to do that, but they're very freaked out by that. You know, they're very, very scared of being that sort of person. So for you guys, it's really, really, really important for you to nourish yourself, open up your heart shock by being by yourself as well and letting yourself just be misunderstood. The cobra, a lot of people don't like snakes, you know, a lot of people don't like them. So and they can be quite scary and the way they kind of get the prize, they wrap around. So that could be quite intense, especially for those of you on a spiritual sense and, you know, an emotional sense, you're not used to intimacy. That can be terrifying. So a lot of you guys have definitely dealt with people who have sharp knives coming at you in the throat chakra like a lot of people say sarcastic comments to you there's some certain people who really really don't adjust to you and that can be really uncomfortable so what it's basically doing is you're basically being pushed out of your old self to nourish and be gentle with who you are and shed your fucking skin and then you're coming into this side of you where you're showing your your true stripes you're no longer covering yourself up as much um, emotionally and it could be also maybe you're wearing less makeup or you know not that that's a bad thing it's obviously up to you what your preference is but there's a sense of like letting things be more natural within you and it could be something as simple as you know like for me I'm not wearing my nails so it could be something simple as that it could be something as simple as you know having a conversation with somebody that you and, and telling them how you really feel you know and what it's doing is with justice is it's balancing the scales because if you're trying to get something to balance the last thing you want to do is avoid it because that is very Libra, you know, and it's kind of the unbalanced Libra. It's kind of like when you shove stuff under the rug, it gets more and more prominent. It shows up more. So with Justice, Justice is Aquarian energy. She does not bullshit around. Aquariuses are very much, very, very strong. Uh, it's a very strong zodiac sign about ju about Justice and getting things straight in order. And they will not, you know, play around in that sense. Um, so it's basically about you standing out, being a beautiful human. I'm hearing humanitarian as well. Like, don't be afraid to step into your power, step into your authenticity and yeah really really sharp for yourself and the zebra is showing me how intuitive you are as well like you are massively intuitive so i'm actually just going to read these two and going to show you what these are all about so both of these i'm pretty sure are fire so very similar to group number one as well um, if you get drawn to group number one of course I've watched that as well so these are both I'm pretty sure like i said fire so the cobra pausing waiting the inner teacher the cobra represents a teacher or spiritual guardian. The cobra hovers and watches ever present, ever protecting, ever loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who've led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And I can fully like say that's actually so true. Like In my life, in my life I've definitely um, experienced that. When in balance, a student of life, humble and wise, when out of balance, know it all, egocentric, to bring into balance, taking a class and study. And then we also have the zebra. Let's see where the zebra is. She is like hiding. Some of you guys are really scared of just showing who you really are. And it's not that terrifying. It just feels like it is because it's been pushed down for a long time. And I feel like it's, I'm seeing like a woman and her doing like a sexy dance. I'm seeing like her leg, like I'm seeing like a doorway and her leg like going like this, like pointing out and being like, ooh. And I'm seeing like this new sexual fun side to you that you're really showing. And it's very sexy, it's very attractive. And this is not just for women, this is for all genders here, not just because I mentioned women, but that's just what I saw. I saw like a leg and it's like, ooh, ooh girl. And it was like, that's kind of the energy I'm feeling is this fun sexual side to you that shouldn't be suppressed you know and it's also about accepting that side of you zebra is eccentric creative visionary so this is your uh current self this is your future self here zebras are the most precious of gems they are young at heart well cultured and have an undying curiosity about life 
Being in the company company, <laughs> company of a zebra personality not only is a delight, but also opens our minds. Be prepared, their potent magic is contagious and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your worldview while having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute to the global health to the global health through environmental or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. When in balance, worldly, enthusiastic and fashion forward. When out of balance, JD pouted at pouty in vain to bring into balance an epic adventure in art. This reminds me of a Libra, which it feels very much like Libra when I saw the, the woman's leg being like, hi, like around the corner, like trying to seduce. But it feels playful and fun. That's, that is Libra when it's in balance. It's like really fun, flirty, but having just having a, just generally having a great time. That's literally what Libra is about. And it's also very throat chakra as well. So if you guys have really been suffering in the throat chakra department, then definitely get yourself some blue lace agate or I feel like selenite for you guys as well. Like really clearing yourself. Because a lot of you guys have a lot of toxic people around you or some toxic energies that need to just go. So obviously cord cutting is amazing as well. All right, let's see. Duality, that makes so much sense. It's like two things coming into one and continuance, lovely. I'm hearing, I can't let this continue anymore. Ooh, okay, so we have the Empress Tree, Catalyst for Change, Clarity, Freedom, Unbinding, and then we have Azerite and Orchid, uh, Liren, Liren, Stargate, um, and then it says Personal Power, Healing, Entanglements, Throat Opening, oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have originality. That is so Libra and Aquarian. We have the sixth chakra. Lovely. Love that. Oh my God. We literally have the root chakra. Oh my God. That is amazing. Love me some synchronicities. I don't even look at these cards before I, sh like after I shuffle them, I just put them away for the next group. So I don't even see them. So that's fucking amazing. Guys, you are literally so fucking, um, I'm hearing how do I superficial? And that's not the right word. Supernatural. You guys are so supernatural. You have such strong abilities to manifest through your intuition. So you guys literally are a catalyst for change. You can show people how much you want to change through just doing the damn thing. Like just literally expressing yourself and being original. Like don't be afraid to step out your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to do things differently. Don't be afraid to lead the way. That's literally what you're here to do, I feel. And especially because at the root shock, God, this is about leading and being confident in leading through your intuition. Because your intuition is original. Your intuition is the one that brings in those messages and it just allows you to just be yourself. And I feel like with the duality and continuance, it's about peeling back the layers. We have 26, 27. So those could be, uh, certain numbers could be your age as well. Uh, age of when things change as well. Some of you guys, I feel like you're gonna meet a man or a woman in terms of a relationship in about two to three years. Or when you are, I feel like maybe a year and a half actually. A year and a half, I'm hearing two years to three years. So a lot of you guys are gonna manifest a relationship. It's gonna allow you to like crack open. Okay, so you are here to basically ground the energies into the earth. And what this means is you are here to show up for yourself and express yourself. People will follow. And when we have duality and continuance, we have this lovely energy of Capricorn as well. So you've got to peel back the layers to get that juiciness on the inside. You can't just eat a banana with the skin on. And if you do, that is very strange. Um, <laughs> but it's basically like you've got to look at what's really underneath all of this. And it's actually about being authentic to who you are. And it can be you doing the most weirdest stuff that might not be, you know, society's, you know, normal, but who gives a shit? Like, just do what you want to do. Be fucking expressive. Make yourself have a great, great time. And this is really about just like really connecting to your spiritual side. So it can be like hugging trees, you know, sitting on the ground, meditating. It can be as simple as having a conversation with someone who's also got the same, you know, um, wavelength as you in terms of like awareness. These are really simple like self-care self-care energies because you're really in a lot of entanglement at the moment and it's really uncomfortable because you're not used to this sense of freedom you have literally lived your life in a box and you could, if i'm feeling like bound and i'm feeling like a lot of uncomfortable stuff i'm not gonna go too deep into it because it's like uncomfortable for me it's like it felt like a bit too much so but what i'm just seeing is just be you know on the surface here around it is you feel caged in it feels very uncomfortable you feel like you are literally in a cage and it just feels very much like you are struggling to, to express yourself. So what I feel like for you is it's very important to not worry about what other people think when it comes to this energy. You are gonna feel much more comfortable being by yourself than you will with anyone else right now. And if you do want to hang out with people or choose to be around certain people, just give yourself a lot of space and realize if you need to change the day that you meet out with these people, don't be afraid to do that because this is really about your personal 
willpower and asking for you know what you need and what you need might be to just be by yourself for a while and it can also be to just like do some really random stuff if you need to do some dancing all of a sudden go for it you know if you suddenly need to just run and dance and sing and just all the things this is really about just letting it out you know lovely yeah you guys are feeling extremely emotional right now it's all right that's okay don't worry about it i mean i mean those two together hello that is so gorgeous and also intense this is actually amazing can you see like the similarities with these two cards first of all the coloring is very similar but can you see there's like an arch and these two birds like joining up to the arch same thing here we have the circle we have the arch same bird as well and we also have these two women being those birds so it's like this is your feminine energy opening up for you and you also are going to attract some lovely females into your, your life especially if you are a female as well or a feminine you are going to genuinely bring in loads of new female friends because it's showing me you are going to also for those of you who want a female uh, relationship with a female as well like a romantic one this is about you attracting your your woman through your feminine side and actually letting that come through like don't be afraid to really fully express that lovely i'm hearing someone took my throat chakra so it's, i'm feeling like something came out of your throat could be like um, a thyroid situation it could be um i'm hearing laryngitis maybe you had something removed I'm feeling like the little thingy at the back of the throat. I'm hearing, I'm seeing that vibrating. Something is being, I'm hearing, also seeing like a girl, she's pointing at her throat. So it's like, I'm hearing, just help me, help me with my throat. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys. It's literally like full on expression. This is such deep stuff. Like this is not like surface level. This is so, so, so deep. And it's really about your personal power. Like you guys are so deserving of gorgeous relationships. And if anyone makes you feel less than, or that will make you feel really restricted, they are not the right person, okay? They really are. <laughs> there we go. Open. Say yes, expand through the extremes and trust life. I'm going to get a couple more because there's something here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Exactly. The bloom. Creations realize ripe time, harvest and celebrate. It's just showing me that this is all of the right timing. Like this is so normal. And I just keep seeing, I'm seeing like a woman like opening her legs as well. Like I'm seeing this sense of, proper sacral opening like letting yourself sexually express yourself and attracting someone who wants to express sexually with you also um who wants to be in a relationship you'll be intimate with you like i'm seeing i am not scared of your intimacy i am not scared of intimacy i am not scared to witness you when you are crying when you are giving birth when you are expressing yourself whatever it may be just obviously don't worry about the gender even if i say woman it doesn't mean you know i'm focusing just women it's literally about just opening your sexual side and letting people see how amazing it is to be intimate with you. And this can be intimacy on an emotional level. It can be having a chat with somebody and letting someone understand how you feel. It can also be sexually. It can be physically. It can be having a long hug. It can be anything like that. It's very, very deep. Yeah, a lot of you guys are just going through a big fat transition. Um, we also have the second house of Taurus and we have Leo. So you could be going through your second house right now. Uh, obviously, depending on your age, everyone is going through a different time here. Um, and then we have Aries. So you're really like, I'm hearing shooting those arrows at that fire energy. Um, and that is definitely to do with your sexual energy. And it's really about just like getting grounded. First of all, that'll help you really bring this energy. In. It's very intense. But Leo is about being seen. Like, Don't be afraid to be seen. It's okay. And the more you do let yourself be seen, the you will attract people who also want to be seen, which is like so amazing. I'm also seeing a lot of you guys getting a pet as well. Like that's something that you're attracting. And we also have attracting like a rose, receive abundance desires. We have this sense of like opening up. We have open the bloom and come to me. Like a lot of this is like, I'm ready. Let it come to me. Let me receive. You know, it's like you are so ready for things to just change for you. Honestly, you're so, so ready. Okay. These are some self-care dice. Get some sleep. Uh, make sure to have your room dark enough if you're sleeping and you're struggling to sleep. Rose quartz is also really good. Um, shutting off your phone is going to help you. Drinking certain tea. <clears throat> Whoa. My throat chakra. <coughs> Just did something. Sorry, guys. Um, having a foot massage. Reflexology. Something, if, if something hurts in your body, massage that part of the foot. And then we also have some yoga and meditation. Possibly writing a letter to somebody, burning it. Uh, doing some sort of ritual obviously you know to 
enhance your life. Um, and then we have, I feel like this is kind of showing me like writing a love letter to yourself, doing something creative and crafty, like um, like crafts, you know, not crafty as in you know, cheeky, like crafty as in like a mood board or just like expressing yourself creatively or like writing stuff down. Yeah, I'm hearing stickers, like sticking stickers in places. So that is your reading guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Rates are down below as long as my crystal shop and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, green number three. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the throat chakra. I just, first of all, I just love this crystal. It's so, so beautiful. I just love the um, pattern on it as well. I love the throat chakra. So this for you guys, especially it being the throat chakra, this is the Vishuddha chakra. I'm sorry if I pronounced that, pronounced that wrong. Um, but the throat chakra is all about, you know, obviously your throat. Um, it's also to do with communication, willpower, truthfulness, uh, setting boundaries and expression. I feel like a lot of you guys have definitely learned to set your boundaries. Okay, girl, let's have a look and see. Joy. Oh, I love this. This is, oh my God, this is intense. Okay. Wow. All right. So we have the Hierophant, we have the Five of Pentacles and we have Joy. Oh, okay. So a lot of you guys have kind of been left in the dust. You are learning to set your boundaries and set them fucking high. Not being afraid to open up and take up some fucking space. Oh, okay. This is actually really funny. I think this was, I was trying to find a flower today. I saw a flower in one of my family's gardens and I saw it and I was trying to figure out what flower it was. And I'm pretty sure it was this daisy. That would be so funny if it was. All right. A lot of you guys are used to protecting yourself. Like you're not used to feeling relaxed around someone. This is all about your relationships. For you guys, it's actually about setting the fucking shit on fire and just letting it burn, bitch, letting it burn. A lot of people know you for being a certain way, for being a nurturer, possibly over nurturing, where you're, where you're just basically sucking the life out of yourself and you're not really putting yourself first. You're used to being kind of like the security blanket for a lot of people and a lot of people rely on you. And it's because you've put yourself in a position where you are being relied upon and you're not letting people be responsible for their own shit. So for a lot of you guys, is there is kind of like this hard hitting energy that's coming towards you. And it's definitely hit you already. I feel like there's this sense of, I feel very, very drained. And you will be very sensitive to the moon at this time. We have the moon behind both of these um, creatures, creatures, <laughs> people here. I mean, that could be a creature, I don't know. But there's this, gentle sense of nudging from the universe saying your joy does not lie in always helping other people okay your joy lies in being creative letting yourself be seen and also just opening yourself up the oyster is all about letting yourself open the oyster is also very very deep as well it's basically not ignoring your depth and a lot of the time just to be very blunt a lot of you guys could really avoid your own intimacy and your own emotions by helping other people out there's a sense of distraction here so what I'm feeling for you guys is, well, the oyster, it represents patience, secret keeper and hiding inner treasures. A lot of you guys are not just nurturers. You are here to be a vessel for, you know, your soul and express who you are, but you're not really, I'm hearing I'm not allowed to express who I am. Fuck me, you are. <laughs> wow, that came out so funny. You are, you are allowed to express yourself. And a lot of you guys are really worried about setting shit on fire like you're scared of like everything needs to be pushed under the rug and it doesn't anymore you're not getting things done otherwise so i'm feeling like when you start setting boundaries and possibly stop people pleasing as much as possibly you used to you might start to get quite angry and it's because there's a lot of resentment that's been built up there's a lot of grief there's a lot of anger and that is completely normal if that is what is going on right now with you you are in such a beautiful place because what it's doing is cracking you open girl i'm seeing an egg and it's cracking open and it's also about being patient while the egg cracks open because with with when you see like a bird and I love I love watching birds being born out of like an egg it's so fucking cute I love birds that I just I love them like pigeons they're fucking adorable chickens yes work it girl I love them oh they're so cute like little round things so yeah anyway <laughs> getting distracted by birds um but basically it's like don't you can't force that egg to open you know, but that is also you're witnessing, if you see a bird opening an egg, you're witnessing a literal like miracle, like a birth. So this is your birth. This is your literal birth. This is fucking amazing. This is literally like human nature to a T. So don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid also to just be by yourself or not be around lots of people because you are going through such a big uh, time. And the Hierophant is really about like 
girl, you're going to attract so much in your life and you are attracting it now. I think you're going to start to see or will see uh, things being started to attract to you because you're you're allowing it, you know. I feel like a lot of you guys, I'm hearing I neglect what I like, I neglect what is good for me. And it's because a lot of you guys have been taught to do that. You may have had a selfish parent around you. You may have had emotionally unaware parents, which, you know, is no fault of their own. That's just something they have been taught and they learn. But it's not serving you anymore. You know, it's really about parenting yourself. And this is all about joy. Like, don't be afraid to watch something funny, you know, do something that's not practical. Because a lot of you guys are earth or air signs, I feel, from this group. Um, and you're very practical. Don't be afraid to do something that's out of the box. I'm also feeling like for a lot of you guys, the Five of Pentacles is about like giving everything to everyone else and being basically literally taking the clothes off your back and giving them to people. And maybe you do that anyway, like just emotionally, but you guys need to set better boundaries or well, not better boundaries. You need to set stronger boundaries. And this can be saying no, saying yes when you mean it. And basically just letting yourself push yourself a little bit more forward. If someone tries to initiate something and it feels wrong, say how you feel because people don't know unless you tell them. Okay, oyster. Also, you're going to see a lot of changes in your relationships. You're going to see how people really react when you do set those boundaries. And a lot of manipulators won't like it. So don't be afraid. To, just don't be afraid to keep opening that gate. If somebody doesn't like it, that's their own fucking problem. And if they're too immature to deal with it, then they don't have to stay there, you know. And at the end of the day, you're teaching people what it's like to have a mature relationship. And that is beautiful. You know, that is nothing to hide. That is just human nature. We deserve to be connected to each other. I feel like I'm ranting, but like that's the energy of this group. It's like, I want this now. I need this now. It's like, girl, you fucking deserve it. Go get it, girl. Okay. (laughs) All right. The oyster. This is where you are right now. This is in the future. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy and doubtful and this can lead to withdrawing and protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. Oh, this makes me emotional. When in balance, feels blessed, generous, masterful. When out of balance, reluctant. And gripping clams up to bring it to balance, share something. What's also interesting is what I'm feeling is, um, uh, for me, I've been saying this recently, everyone has their purpose. You know, like some people are meant to be, you know, a hairdresser. Some people are meant to be a firefighter. Some people are meant to be builders, gardeners, you know, doctors. There's, everyone has a purpose. Like for me, I don't want to be a, I don't know, a doctor. I don't want to be a firefighter. That's just something I don't want to do. I want to do this. I want to dive into my spirituality. So that's my purpose, you know, and everyone has their purpose because if we didn't, if we had the same purpose, we wouldn't be able to kind of help each other and live and work with each other. You know, everyone has their purpose, you know, like somebody built the house that I'm in right now, you know, and that would be their purpose at the time. And your purpose can change. But what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is like, don't be afraid to express your purpose, especially if people around you don't do it. So I'm like the first person in my, you know, line to really do this type of like work like tarot. So it's about like really doing the thing that really lights you on fire, makes you feel good. You know, don't be afraid to do that. Annihilation of the unnecessary purging, panther. The panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate. Instead, it pounces into our lives and causes all kinds of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us more towards our fulfilling bringing us towards more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after, but after all the dust clears, it's easier to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences and they've made us better people. Trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When in balance, brave and productive. When out of balance, self-destructive. To bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. Boom. Keep things really simple and just do things that you love because I feel like that's just something that you really need to do. I feel like sometimes you neglect the things that you love just because you're not used to doing things that you love. I think a lot of the time is when you are used to pleasing other people, that is just your survival strategy and that's okay, but it's not really serving you anymore, okay? So we have a cleansing. We have fertility. I love this. This is really opening opening up things, opening the gap. That's really, really lovely. This is so needed. Sanctuary of the Light and Mugwort Portal, 5D Healing Temple, Healing Temple Astral Travel. And then we have Septarian Nodules, ooh. Way Shower, Shake Up the System, Cellular Upgrades. I mean, this is literally so intense. Like there's no like grounded energy here. Like this is literally like such high vibrational energy. There's a lot of earth, 
but it feels very much like I'm feeling like a muddle, you know, we've got Gemini, you've got Leo, put Gemini and Leo together, you've got this fucking fireball, you know, so it feels very erratic, it feels like I'm on, like, so much caffeine right now, and it's because there's, like, such intense ascension symptoms getting you to wake up, it's, like, shaking you up like this, it's really shaking you up. Okay, we have transparency, commitment, and we also have multidimensionality. This is about you guys attracting things, opportunities, people into your life, especially even work as well, that allows you to be yourself. You are not just a being who has one thing that you're good at or one thing you are known for, especially when it comes to your body and being sexually attractive, especially when it comes to dating. If you've just been around people who want you for your body or the other way around, just want you for your mind but not your body, this is showing you that you're getting need to get more transparent with committing to yourself, like literally being so open to who you are and realizing you are all the things, you know, and you're allowed to change your mind on things. A lot of you guys want to change your career possibly. Don't be afraid to change it up, you know, don't be afraid to try new things. You are not that one person, you know, you are multidimensional, and that is what's amazing about our soul, is it's so deep, we don't need anything else but ourselves, I mean, of course, I'm not saying we can't be in community, community is so fucking needed, but it's, we're not ne meant to rely on somebody who is draining us, you know, that's not, it's not good for us, so for you, it's like getting really committed to yourself, being committed to your opinions, and what you feel, and what you know is, is real for you, and also your values, what you value for yourself, and also getting something for yourself, I'm hearing, this is mine, I'm hearing, this is mine, so this could be you suddenly bought a house, you have your own job, your first job maybe, your first relationship, um, but I feel like it's just you, it doesn't really feel like it's somebody else, so it could be a relationship in the future, but I genuinely feel it's about getting committed to who you are, and commitment involves long term a lot of the time, and if you've been always struggling with relationships, it's because you are learning to lean into committing to yourself full time, and not worrying about attracting in somebody to make you happy because it will happen just not at this right time right now you know I feel like I can taste noodles that is so strange like um yeah like it feels like yeah just noodles just plain noodles that is so strange okay um is there anything else that needs to be said here cleanse to get fertile okay so basically cleanse out the stuff release any energy you read really cleanse your house as well like um organizing your space and fertility is all about getting things to the baseline. So this is really about being fertile is when you obviously have a baby, you have the sperm and the egg, right? So if you don't have one without the other, you can't make this baby, okay? So what I'm feeling for you guys is you have to have the basic needs first. Everything else will come afterwards, okay? You are the cake. Everyone else is the icing. So sort out yourself first. You can't have a foundation. You can't build something on a rocky foundation. You have to have basic needs first. So it's really about if you need to rest, fucking rest. If you need to do something for yourself, fucking do it. Like don't be afraid to just express, express, express. And the throat chakra isn't just about actually using your throat. I feel like it's generally about setting boundaries with yourself, being responsible for your emotions and realizing that you deserve so much and you've been for a lot, but it's okay. I mean, of course we have lots of swords. So of course it's about the throat chakra. Wow. Okay. There feels like a battle between two people here. It feels like a battle of the boundaries. <laughs> um, that could be a really good Netflix show. Um, battle of the boundaries. It's like you are literally asking, the universe is asking like, how much do you want these? How much do you want this life that you've been asking for? Because a lot of you guys asked for this like five years ago. You said like, universe, I want good friends. Universe, I want a relationship. Universe, I want a job that doesn't make me feel like I'm sucked to drive my energy. And this is this, this is literally part of the journey. I think some of you guys like, like myself forget about what you've even asked for. So what this is saying is it's basically about letting yourself be seen, don't be afraid. And the emperor is saying, you're gonna meet some people who will fucking support you. And they may come in the form of a therapist. They may come in the form of a relationship. They may come in the form of a friend. Can also come in the form of a book that has a lot of good advice. You know, something as simple as that. And also we, where we have the throat chakra, words are very important. So it can be something as simple as doing poetry, listening to a podcast, watching a video, a certain audio, certain music that just clicks with you. Let yourself be open to that. Like the throat chakra is very fucking powerful, especially air signs. Air signs are very powerful as well when it comes to communicating. Um, especially if you're an air sign, don't be afraid to communicate your needs. Um, and also if you have any ideas, you know, execute them, let them, let them come through, you know turn them into something physical, turn them into a physical baby, you know, not literally a baby, I mean, of course, if that's what you want, then yes, but I'm talking like if you've got a book within you, or a poem within you, or, you know, you want to do something that's to do with air, like go on a plane, or fly a kite, or, you know, something like that, maybe even if you have a drone, fly a drone, it's like, get very airy about your situation, um, 
and maybe it could be even having a fire because that's also to do with the smoke and you know and things like that or maybe a bath with lots of steam it's just really just try different things i feel like you just need to try lots of different things very gemini you know just like just like spread your energy out a little bit plant yourself here integration embodiment grounded action yes start with one thing and then it will lead to another okay whispers of mother earth creativity ideas yep def oh my god this is literally throat chakra ah oh, thank you so much i love it i'm getting very excited okay also i'm picking up for pink amethyst for you guys so if you want to get me pink amethyst i should have some in my shop um there's a lot of pink crystals in my shop at the moment which i love so you know that's down below if you're interested whispers of mother earth creativity ideas inspiration artist writer channel boom and then we also have a second chance it's never too late new possibilities i fucking love that card that is showing to me that you guys feel like it's been it's like the end i'm never gonna have a relationship i'm never gonna have this i'm never gonna have that girl you probably thought that and then you manifested that friend or you manifested that opportunity don't worry your life is not over okay even if you feel like it is even if you're at the point where you're like oh, i'm 30 you know i'm too old it's like girl you are never too old to have a relationship you're never too old to have the fucking life that you want to live you can do that now okay it's literally about um concentrate action lovely libra things are getting balanced really 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 powerful wow sexual power guys you're going to attract a relationship if you're wanting a partnership you're going to attract someone who makes you feel so damn hot and sexy you're going to be like oh my god i feel like i'm on fire girl <laughs> like you literally it feels like you are on fire in a good way it's going to be so hot so intense so spiritual and it's going to be when you're ready to express your lilith okay and when, you, when you're ready to express your libra if you have any libra in your chart see where that is as well because it's about actually about like letting that come through this is so, so beautiful. Okay, and then we have the waxing gibbous moon as well. Letting things just be seen, you know. Do you know what's so interesting as well? Is series is literally about cycles of loss and return, attachment in relationships and, and self-nurturing or self-care. I just think that is so amazing. The fact we have Libra is so, so, so good. You guys are gonna attract so much abundance as well. I feel like I need to just pull you a card here. I'm gonna read you series because that is just, wow. That, wow i have no words okay <laughs> all right so series grains nature seasons motherhood and full moon nurturing abundance unconditional love rage grief loss beauty which is fucking intense you know it's very libra and it's an angry libra but in her pa in her power you know things are abundant in your life right now and the potential for reaching your goals is at its peak you just need to stay focused on the things that matter most to you i'm hearing keep it simple don't let minor distractions get in the way of of that or influence your decisions you know what is best for you even if it doesn't make sense to anyone else if you are going through a low emotional period do your best to appreciate the beauty in every day eat nourishing foods and make beautiful art go for walks and reconnect with nature spend time with your loved ones doing things that matter material items and overindulgence will not serve you right now so avoid emotional binges when we are children our parents are supposed to take care of us they should hug us when we are sad and feed us when we are hungry at some point we take over this parental role for ourselves and if you're struggling getting things done it could be that a wound from your upbringing is causing you to get in your own way this is so amazing oh this is interesting the way in which we approach health fertility and life changes is determined by series as in our response to trauma and how we grieve loss when she is well aspected we go with the flow and things seem to come naturally to us when she is not we can be possessive narcissistic and needy so if you've ever been told that you are literally needy it's not because you're needy it's because you're wanting to get your needs met and that person can't do that so it's basically about realizing that your emotions your trauma is very very valid and i feel like a lot of you guys have been very emotionally manipulated like you haven't been fully told like what your how valid your feelings are and your trauma your experiences so i feel like it's very simple and it's just to come with basically just validating yourself okay dance to music beautiful writing some shit down girl projects is a really good type really good type of projects um sleep make sure you've got a lot of dark dark um black at me black up lines very good for you as well go outside breathe deeply and read a book yeah this is a time for rest it really is rest remain rest and project so projects <laughs> i love that have a great day guys i'm also picking up on pisces energy so i'm not sure what they're telling me here but they're just saying pisces so it can mean spirituality it can mean a new person um yeah pisces energy around you so have a great day and i'll speak to you very soon rates and crystal shop are below 
and yeah i'll speak to you very soon bye